Hi guys, I'm going to attempt to demonstrate how uh, air temperature affects ballistic coefficient and uh, the way I'm going to do that is by shooting through a chronograph at different ranges. I'm going to take a baseline now at point blank and then I'll set the chronograph out at 50 feet, 100 feet, and 150 feet and see how much it drops off. Yeah, so about 14 degrees. It's 113 is what that wood is on the ground there in the sun. The surface in the shade should be pretty close to what the air temperature really is. Yeah, and I've got 97 degrees. So 955, 951, 953. 973. Okay, so right off the bat, the gun is shooting faster, so I'm gonna adjust the preload on the hammer spring and that will make it so that the hammer does not hit the air valve quite as hard and it should lower my um, speed. I've notched the stock of the gun so that I have access to the hammer spring screw. So I'll just back it off a little bit. Okay, so there's about a quarter of a turn. Let's see where it's at. Oh man, it shot even harder. 980 feet per second. I gotta go quite a bit more. Oh, and I'm out. Uh, it is really hot out here. 951. 946. 959. Wow, that's a wide spread. Okay, chronograph is set up at 50 feet. Looks like it took it. I think it was 860 something. Okay, now I have the chronograph set out at 50 feet. Okay, I had 839 feet per second. 863 feet per second at 50 feet. Yep, 787 feet per second at 100 feet. Now it's uh, 150 feet, which is 50 yards. Okay, and 839 feet per second at 50 feet. This is 100 feet. It didn't read. I'll take another shot. 755 feet per second. Now it's uh, 150 feet, which is 50 yards. Can't tell if it took it. Let's have a look. Come with me. Uh oh. 730 feet per second. Here's 150 feet, which is 50 yards. So that last shot at 150 feet, which is 50 yards, I was down to 702 feet per second. Okay, so here we are at 50 yards and or 150 feet, and it dropped from uh, 800. I'm sorry, 950 feet per second thereabout, down to 730 feet per second at 95 degrees air temperature. The humidity is pretty high. I haven't talked about that at all. So if it was really dry, it would probably be a lot faster out here um, because it wouldn't be pushing through all of the water molecules that are in the air. So um, I guess that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, guys.